Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, and I'm headed off to go meet with a professor before class because, whoa, because I need some help with um, my statistics homework. I wanted to take you guys along with me um, throughout my day. One of my friends had messaged me and said, hey, it'd be cool to see what a day in college is like really like without any like dressing it up or trying to glamorize what college really is because it's true Andy because it's true that like a lot of people want to go to college because they're just like so excited to be free and get away but I mean sometimes college is like not that fun and a day just kind of looks like go to classes come back chill in your room go to sleep I was also thinking this morning when I was just like doing my Bible study and kind of reflecting on what I was like, what I was like this time last year. Um, a lot of things changed and have changed for me since I've been in college and gone through my freshman year, gone through half of my sophomore year, and now I'm starting spring semester as a sophomore. And I wanted to talk about like the five main things that I think I struggled with as a freshman and see like maybe some of you guys could relate, but they're very like five like really real things that. I truly did struggle with and like my freshman year wasn't necessarily uh, my freshman year was not a walk in the park it was a lot of adjustments a lot of new things and so yeah my meeting is at 8 30 it's currently 8 16 yeah I'm gonna head over there now dang the life of a broke college student definitely on empty okay I just got to the place and I'm sitting in the parking lot I have a few minutes one of the five things that I struggled with well I struggled with like way more than just five things last year but the big one that like I wrote down right away was the feeling of loneliness and I mean it's not to say I don't struggle with that now still too but really like my freshman year was a huge adjustment when it came to this with my life in high school I mean I was always at home I was homeschooled I always had people around me always had someone to say goodnight to I always had someone sleeping like in the same vicinity as me um, I never was like really alone very much I really valued alone time in high school because I I like knew that I needed it like I didn't ever get it um, but for the most part I was like super busy so when I came to college um, first of all I lived in a very small dorm room um, with my roommate who wasn't always there and a lot of nights I would go to bed without like talking to anyone I would try to hang out with Luke before I go to bed but I would end up going back to just like an empty dorm room and it was honestly pretty sad sometimes because I didn't feel like close to anyone um, usually like dorms try to include you in things and like have dorm events and you get to know the people on your hall but for me like I mean I was I'm an athlete and I didn't really have time for all those dorm events because we would have practice or I would have a game or I just would be too busy with my schedule and I need to do homework so I never really got like involved in that community and as a freshman here we stay in dorms until like our sophomore year throughout because like that's just the rules and so now I'm staying in caseful apartments like where the rest of my team lives and it's just the difference of the environment from of like where I'm living has helped me so much not to mention just like a year getting to know people better and really like I had a lot of friends who weren't on my team last year that I felt comfortable with and I didn't feel alone necessarily when I was around but I still like didn't feel as close to them as I did with my best friends in high school and I definitely didn't feel as close to my team last year as I do this year I just feel like it takes it takes a good year to really acclimate yourself to like your surroundings and the people who you're around and for them to know you um for you to know them because that was like my problem is I just felt like I was an observer and I was somebody who nobody knew because I just felt like I couldn't be myself because I mean I dealt with things like being self-conscious and just like what if I'm not going to be accepted like what if they think I'm weird I don't know I just thought about all those things and never really like connected and never really put myself out there but yeah I just remember feeling like nobody really knew me and it's sad but I was just I was genuinely pretty sad and I didn't feel like I had anyone to really connect with and even Luke and I were just in like a new relationship so I remember specifically this one night we were hanging out with all of his friends in his dorm and something had happened that was really funny and I was just like laughing like Luke and I were just laughing so hard and I remember thinking to myself in the middle of laughing like I genuinely don't think I've laughed this hard since I've left home 
and that was something I would think a lot about when I would visit home if I was with my brother or my sister or my parents we would you know laugh at something that was really funny and I would think like this like feeling of joy and laughter like I have not felt at school for a long time and I mean that's just being real like it sometimes sucks and sometimes feels very lonely and depressing and you just it's just hard that's why I think when people go to college one of the first pieces of advice they're given is like reach out try to make try to get that friend group because it really is a big adjustment so yeah loneliness was a huge thing for me that I'm so thankful that this year really this my sophomore year has been a big difference and I've been blessed with like really great roommates and are just a really great team I love them so much if you saw in the last vlog just how funny they are but yeah so loneliness big part of my freshman year sadly but it did teach me a lot about who I am and how to reach out and just to not care what people think essentially so but yeah I'm gonna go in now I have this meeting and then class then I got another class and another meeting so a little bit busier Tuesday than normal but that's okay I got practice at 3 30 later and so yeah I'll catch you guys in a minute <laughs> teacher ended up helping me with all this so now I'm just trying to do it on paper I have like 20 minutes to class so I'll probably just sit here and like I don't know scroll on Instagram or something I swear I follow so many food accounts and there it is again yeah I have problems the chapter two because chapter one Tail that tells us okay so if the okay statistics class is over now i'm gonna go to kinesiology which starts in like three minutes so they're still on empty need to go get gas but kind of don't want to because i hate getting gas and yeah someone who loves to like try new things and be around people and do all the events and stuff but like with my schedule I just realized like that was just not realistic and I tried to do everything when I shouldn't have so I would end up putting off homework or putting off like quality alone time or time with the Lord in order to just like hang out with somebody and then I'd end up getting like really burnt out and just tired and um, it was just kind of this like cycle of just not taking care of myself in a social sense. I was get, giving energy to places that like, I didn't need to give energy to, giving thought to stuff I didn't really need to, but it was all out of like curiosity and just wanting to be a part of this new college experience, you know, be with your friends, go to fun events, do all this, but it was just, it came to a point where it was really stupid for me to stay up till 1 a.m. because I wanted to hang out with friends and I couldn't during the day or you know just stuff like that so so yeah that was something I definitely struggled with and I think this year uh, I've accepted more that I can't necessarily fit in going to something every single night on top of homework on top of practice you know I just got home from my last meeting which was my last thing of the day so aside from practice at 3.30, so I'm going to make something to eat. And before I do that, I wanted to say the third thing that I really struggled with my freshman year was feeling micromanaged. This might only resonate with like people who are involved like heavily with something on campus or like a student athlete like me. Um, whenever your like schedule is pretty much controlled by somebody else, 
um, and you're someone who's like me that likes to have freedom, it can be really irritating at times <laughs> to be handed like an itinerary, like say you saw in my vlog from the trip to Oklahoma, and be like, this is where you have to be at this time, and these are the time slots in between that you have to do what you want. Um, that just kind of like sometimes bothers me because I don't like to be told where I have to be and when all the time. So like in high school when I had a curfew, like that was terrible. Like I hated that. <laughs> But this time around, uh, like this year, I don't really like care as much. Like I definitely got used to that. Um, I hated it, Not like no lie, just absolutely did not like that. Last year I felt very like restricted in what I could do. And then whenever I did have free time, I was super unproductive because I'd be like, oh, finally I can just sit down and relax. And I would just literally like scroll on my phone or like not do anything because I felt like I had been doing something like all day, um, just, having to be micromanaged with like my classes and events with friends and just stuff like that like stuff that I would commit to um I would overcommit. like that's another problem within itself that I deal with as a freshman uh within like the being micromanaged is like I would commit to stuff too early and then I would feel obligated to do those things and then when I finally got alone time I would just waste it <laughs> and like not do anything productive that I truly needed to do. Anyways, I'm going to go eat something. I think I'm going to make oatmeal. I'm very excited about it. I put like an unnecessary amount of stuff in my oatmeal, but pretty much it's protein powder, collagen, cinnamon, flaxseed, peanut butter, walnuts, and bananas. I finished my oatmeal. The fourth thing that I want to talk about is my confidence. This might make sense considering everything that I've just talked about as far as not feeling like I fit in and trying to find myself and try to manage my time. And I just became a very like unconfident person. And I think a um, false misconception a lot of people have about college is it's a place you get to go and reinvent yourself. And it's going to be so great because it's freeing and you can get away from any baggage that you've left behind in high school and just become a new you. And that's like a lot of what people focus on when they go to college. But I think what they don't realize is that becoming a new you is hard. <laughs> and it's not just like you, like you just all of a sudden find your group of friends and find your um, niche of like what you like to do and who you like to be around and how you want to be and what you want to work on. It's actually kind of like I said lonely like I said that earlier and you begin to like second guess a lot and wonder if what you're doing is what you even want to do and like as far as like changing your major goes like a lot of people change their major and I think that stems from not actually knowing like what you want and realizing once you get to college that there's so much more out there so it's definitely not a situation where you just like put yourself in to become a new and better you who you can be who you want because nobody knows you it's actually like dang like nobody knows me this is kind of sad and what do they think about me like who do I want to be and I don't know for me personally at least I had like a hard time with trying to be myself but also like improve myself because I didn't even have anyone that knew who I was in the first place so who did I have to call me out and tell me like, hey, like this isn't you, you know? So it was just kind of like, all right, I needed to be my own accountability partner for a little bit in a way just to like make sure I keep with like who I want to be and then try and figure out like who I want to become. It was just hard. And my confidence level was like low, like super low because I just didn't really like know what I wanted. This year, I feel like I'm way more confident and it came, it really did come with just getting to know the people around me and it took a process and everything that I've experienced with college and the things I struggled with last year compared to this year has been just a process. It's like something you have to go through in order to get better and in order to grow, you just have to go through it. Like there's no skipping over those steps. So um, that was definitely a big thing. And again all of these things I'm still continuing to work on like my self-image and my confidence is definitely not perfect like I don't think it ever will be perfect but it's always something that I'm gonna be growing and trying to figure out but it's gonna be easier now and from here on out as I continue to make better friends and get accountability and yeah okay I'm headed to practice now I ended up not getting any um, homework done because I called my mom and I, and I listed some stuff online to sell. 
because I'm trying to make extra money. After practice, I'm going to get gas, come back, probably make dinner, and then do all my homework. Just got done getting gas, and I'm home. My hair is looking a little crazy. Wow. And I'm going to make some dinner because I am super hungry again. Oh my gosh. We got some chicken that I need to thaw out. I want to take this time to talk about the fifth thing, fifth and final thing. That would be staying healthy. So, I mean that in every sense of the word. I've kind of talked about this before, but staying healthy physically, mentally, and spiritually. I just did a very bad job at, I wouldn't say a very bad job, but I didn't do as good as I could have. I'm going to focus on the physical part because I lived in a dorm and in my dorm I lived on the third floor we had the kitchen downstairs so really all I could eat throughout the day a it was like canned or non-perishable that I didn't really need a refrigerator for um because I have like a little bit little mini fridge that I just used for um like hummus and carrots and the stuff that I like really wanted to be cold so I just like didn't have a wide variety of food okay I, I don't think I ate like enough either um I was living like on a budget I still am but I just had to figure out like what foods I could buy per every like two weeks and I didn't want to use as much as like my mom's money as she was offering for my groceries and so just like a mix of all these things kind of led to me under eating a lot and I never like had much energy I it affected my sleep um, which was another thing I just did a poor job at um, my sophomore year definitely a huge difference I get a kitchen as I'm standing in right now. I get to eat chicken and broccoli and make pasta all in the comfort of my own apartment. And like, it's just uh, so much, it's just such a better environment. So those are the main five things that I feel like I struggled with my freshman year. And it was cool for me to have to like look back and think, wow, like I've actually like really improved since then. So an encouraging thing. Thanks for watching. I hope that some of you guys can resonate with that as well. And if you ever have any words of encouragement or advice that like you've been through college and you want to give me some advice, I am up for it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.